What's up guys, my name is Stefan Hoffman. I'm here from the Flow Impact. We're about to go through a power yoga class. It's gonna be a strength-filled, challenging transition class, so I'm really excited. And stick around afterwards, and I'll explain a little bit more about myself and the Flow Impact, and how you can get more involved in the fitness community. All right guys, we're gonna get started in a seated position. So find a comfortable seat. If you've got blocks, set them beside you. And when you come down, Begin to press down through your tailbone. As you do so, aim to leave an imprint underneath your mat as you extend through the crown of your head. Draw your lower rib cage in, and then just press with two fingers your chin back and feel your neck rise up and then back as you soften through your eyes. Exhale completely. Take a full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Deep breath in. And let it out. Seal your lips for ujjayi breath and continue as you inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Full breath in for three, two, one. Acknowledge the natural suspension at the top. Then exhale for three, two, one. Continue that even pace, inhales and exhales with the natural suspension, the stillness in between the breaths. Understand that this breath is so much more than a vertical movement, but it moves six different directions, 360 degrees. So begin to embrace this as you find stillness, not only in the physical, but the mental as well. Begin to notice the subtle shifts, mentally, physically, emotionally. Re-engage your core and then exhale in an opposite direction than you normally do. Swing your legs to the side and find tabletop position. As you exhale, press through your fingertips. Inhale, cow pose, tip your tailbone high. Exhale, cat pose, chin to chest. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat, here's the change. Left hand, right knee down, inhale, spinal balance. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Inhale, spinal balance. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Inhale, spinal balance, security through your left shoulder. Exhale, round, here's the change. Inhale, tiger's pose, and breathe. Grab the outside edge of your left foot with your right hand. Find an external rotation through your upper left arm, internal rotation through your forearm, and then apply pressure into your right hand with your left foot. From there, keep your hips squared down and open your chest to the right. Inhale, exhale, tabletop, opposite side. Inhale, spinal balance, left arm long. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Breath in, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Here's the change. Inhale, tiger's pose. And stay. Again, root down through your right hand, especially your right index finger and your right thumb. Begin to draw your right knee up towards hip height. Feel the sensation of your left shoulder opening. You square your chest to the left. Soften through your jaw, inhale. Exhale, tabletop. Tuck your toes, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, down dog, and breathe. Find stillness here. So even in between the movements, we can find stillness. We find it in our breath between the inhales and the exhales, that subtle suspension. And it's a trust in that stillness, just like we find in this posture. You can move around if you need to, but trust that the anatomy, the alignment, of this pose, your breath will sink you into it. Find external rotation through your upper arms, internal rotation through your forearms, and then press your hands down and then forward to elevate your hips higher. Exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Think knee to nose. Set your left knee down. Inhale, crescent moon. Breathe, you've got options here. You can 
Keep your hands on your right thigh as you sink in, or you can elevate them above your head. Draw your right hip back, left hip forward, and then provide a slight tuck of your tailbone forward. Inhale, exhale, half split, and stay. Keep your left hip over your left knee. Direct your right toes up towards the ceiling, back towards your shin to increase the sensation through your back leg. And maintain length through your torso. Tuck your left toes if it helps in the transition, exhale. Inhale, standing split. Breathe. Activate your left leg at hip height. Stay light through your hands, maybe draw your right hand towards your right calf. Full breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Option to bring your hands towards heart center as you maintain a long spine. For the sake of today, draw your left knee behind your right leg. Keep squeezing your inner thighs, option to stay here or find Shiva with the twist. Keep your hips low and your right hip back in line with your right knee. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, mountain with a back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Breath in, half lift, flat spine. Exhale, high plank. Breathe. Press firmly through your hands, so much so that you hollow through your armpits, and then take the space in between your shoulder blades and move it up towards your ceiling. Press down through your hands and then draw the heels of your hands back towards your feet to activate your transverse abdominal. Stay soft through your jaw, press away, full breath in. Exhale, lower with control. Inhale, low cobra. Stay light through your hands. Lengthen through the back of your neck. And then elevate your knees off your mat. As you exhale, release. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Bring your left hip back slightly, right hip forward. The energetics of your hips continue to move forward, but if you want a little deeper opening through your right hip flexor, just tuck your tailbone slightly forward. As you draw your navel in and then up, allowing your gaze to go up and maybe trickle back as you invite a back bend. Full breath in, exhale, half split. Stay. Aim to spread your left toes apart from one another. I'm still working on that. Go ahead and flex your left toes back towards your shin. For a deeper sensation, dig your left heel down into your mat. Energetically draw it back as you shift your left hip back, right hip forward. Exhale, tuck your right toes. Stay light through your hands. Inhale, standing split. Take a few here. Try to lift your torso away from your left thigh. Just feel the energetics happen. I want you to really work your right glute here and feel it activate as you draw your right heel just a little higher. There it is. Inhale, exhale, Shiva squat. Breathe, you'll notice I'm aiming for almost a half lift through my torso. You can keep your hands on your mat, draw them up to a block, but really rely on the connection of your inner thighs as they squeeze together. And then if you did on the other side, option for Shiva with a twist. A lot of this comes from squeezing your inner thighs together, maintaining length of your torso and then slowly drawing your left shoulder back. Exhale. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Breath in, mountain pose. Exhale, mini back bend. Press your hips forward. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Here's the change. Exhale, chaturanga. You can shoot back if you're ready, but land in mid plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Pull your chest forward. Exhale, down dog. We'll flow, inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. 
Breath in, crescent moon. Exhale, half split. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, Shiva option for the twist. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Breath in, mountain with the back bend, Stop, strong core. Exhale, dive forward. Breath in, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Again, stay controlled, soft jaw. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Breath in, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half split. Breath in, standing split. Exhale, Shiva option for the twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Breath in, mountain with the back bend. Keep your hips forward, strong thighs. Exhale, dive forward. Breath in, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. External rotation through your arms as you keep your elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Full breath in and sigh it out. Deep breath in and let it go. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Here's the change. Inhale, crescent lunge. Breathe. Commit to your lunge. You're gonna press through your left heel as you draw your left hip forward and your right hip back. Again, for more opening through the front of your left leg, tuck your tailbone forward. You'll feel the sensation shift just slightly. Inhale. Exhale, revolved crescent lunge. And breathe, option to drop down to your left knee. But if your left knee is elevated, you're gonna press through your left heel. Feel that activation through your left thigh. Generate length through your left side body. And then continue to find a subtly deeper twist each exhale. You can stay just here or follow my transition. Shift your weight to your front foot. Come up to your left hip toes as you exhale. Inhale, float your left leg an inch. Try just to get one to two, maybe three inches off the mat. You can point your toes or flex them. Inhale, exhale, left knee, left shoulder. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, left knee, left shoulder. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, left knee, left shoulder. Here's a big transition. Inhale, crescent moon, we've been here before. Exhale, half split. Hang out here while I Describe the next transition. I'm starting to sweat and I hope you are as well. So this next transition is gonna have options, which are always nice. So it's gonna be an exhale, and on our inhale, you'll slide your front foot back, plant your hands, and you can come to high plank. For your inhale, bend chaturanga, or you can take a switch kick to chaturanga. So exhale, here it is. Inhale, jump switch. Exhale, chaturanga. You can also find high plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. And stay. Lift your left toes up. Spread them wide. Ensure that the weight's evenly spread across the four corners of your left foot as you set your toes down lightly. Bring your right hip forward. Commit to your lunge, inhale. Exhale, revolved crescent lunge. And breathe. Soften through your jaw just a little bit. And then activate your right leg as you press through your right heel. Begin to find security through your left leg. Bring your left hip in just a little bit. Imagine drawing your inner thighs together. As you exhale, come to your right tiptoes. Inhale, float your right leg, it's challenging. Up an inch, maybe two inches. Try not to go past three. Find strength and security through your left leg. It's so important, a soft jaw. Inhale. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder. Inhale, send it long. Keep your thighs together as you draw your knee in. Inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, right knee, right shoulder. Here's the transition. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half split. Option to go to high plank. Inhale, jump switch. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog, let's flow. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Breath in, crescent. Exhale, revolve, crescent. Just once, inhale, float your back leg. Exhale, knee to shoulder. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half split. Inhale, jump switch. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breath in, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, revolve, crescent. Inhale, float your right leg. Exhale, knee to shoulder. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half split. Inhale, jump switch or high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Breath in, crescent lunge. Exhale, revolve, crescent. Best one yet, inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, knee to shoulder, stay low through your right hip. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half split. Play around here, inhale, jump switch. Exhale, chaturanga. Breath in, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Last side, inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Breath in, crescent. Exhale, revolve, crescent lunge. Inhale, float your right leg. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder, there it is. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half split. If you have handstand, you can stick it. Inhale, jump switch. And exhale, chaturanga. Make your way to down dog whenever needed. Three breaths, down dog. Continue to elevate your hips. Keep your chin to your chest, come up to your tiptoes. Allow your head to be the last thing to lift. Inhale, roll forward to high plank. Draw your right thigh to the chest, heel towards glute, step it back. Left thigh to the chest, heel to glute, step it back. Right thigh to the chest, don't move your thigh, heel towards glute, step it back. Left thigh, heel to glute, step it back. Step or float forward, hero's pose. Roll through your wrists. Keep your shoulders right over your hips. You can shake them out just a little bit. So this next one, I want you to follow along accordingly. Bring your thumbs right by your knees. So keep them in. So your shoulders should be right over your wrists. Keep your toes untucked. External rotation through your upper arms, internal through your forearms. So this next work, it's gonna work on our core, not our superficial six pack, but our banda. So only you are gonna know if you're really working. Exhale, tops of your feet on your mat. Inhale, lift and breathe. Press, press, press away. I want you to hollow through your armpits. Continue to press. You know if you're working or not, because you'll start to sweat just a little more. Elevate, dome through your upper back. We're here for three. Don't go down yet, two, one, and pike, press. Hips high, continue to press. I want your shoulders by your ears as you really press away. Hollow through your armpits. Embrace any sensation through your shoulders for four. Press away a little more for three. Engage core for two. One, deep breath in. Let it go. Full breath in and out. Round two, press your hands as you exhale and inhale, lift. Thighs to chest, engage your core right here. Set the precedent for this, this next few breaths as we round through our back. Press away for four. Full expression in three, two, 
one, hips high and press. Yes, you can, keep your shoulders right over your wrists. This can help with your inversions, with your press ups, whatever it may be, for four. Hollow through your armpits for three, two, one, release. Got a virtual high five coming your way. We'll be back in downward facing dog. Take a full breath in as you arrive. Exhale, let it go. Ooh, that felt nice. Deep breath in. And out. Continue to breathe here. And again, however that last round went for you, however the core work, the pressing went through you, as the Stokes would say, it's not good, it's not bad, it just is. So kind of embrace that. Don't focus on what was or what will be, but solely what is. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Breath in, crescent lunge. Exhale, revolve crescent. We'll stay. You can stay here, you can drop your left knee or uh, take it a little bit further as you shift forward. First option of expression is to draw, yes, this time, your left leg to hip height. Keep it active. Try to sit your right hip back. You can stay here. Find a bend to your left leg. Maybe take your left or your right hand to your left foot. And breathe. Try to square your chest over to the right side of your mat. Option to stay here or you can find revolved half moon. Not quite feeling that today. So I will stay in this. By stay, I mean fall. Take a few more breaths. And wherever you're at, inhale. Exhale, runner's lunge. Settle in. Bring your right foot to the edge of your mat. Press through your back leg. Option to drop down to your left knee. If you've got blocks, you can come down to your blocks or your forearm. Personally, I really prefer for my body this more active posture. And again, just kind of play around with it. The soft jaw. Bring your hands beneath you, exhale. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, side two. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, revolved crescent. So you know what you took last time, and then move forward from that, whether it's the same option or testing yourself a little bit. Bring the weight to your left foot. I want you to feel your right glute work as it draws your right leg to hip height. Keep your right leg active. This is quite an intense balancing posture as it is. Option to bend. And then on an exhale, release and work towards grabbing your foot. Soften to your jaw. Continue to press your right arm into your left leg. Left leg back into your arm. From here, you can take it to revolved half moon. Again, a block may be a great option. Did you play around with it? And then on your next exhale, release to runner's lunge. Take the same option you did on the other side, whether it's releasing your back knee, coming down through your forearms, or a block, taking another expression of your choice. Slowly bring your hands back beneath you as you exhale. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down to your mat, find Sphinx pose. Bring your shoulders over your elbows. Keep your forearms parallel to one another. Press through your forearms. Lengthen through the crown of your head. And pull your chest forward. 
you can stay here or release down, bend both knees and prepare for floor bow, exhale. Inhale, floor bow and breathe. Keep your knees moving towards one another. Elevate your knees and your upper abdominals away from the chest. You can see that I don't get very far off of the mat, but just continue to kick into your hands if your knees feel like it's okay. Soft jaw for three, two, one, release. If it feels nice, you can windshield whopper your legs side to side. Begin to press up and then extend both legs long. I'll face you guys. Bring your right heel to the right edge of your mat. Bottom of your left foot into your right inner thigh. Inhale your arms up, quarter turn to the left. Exhale right, peace fingers, right big toe. As you're here, press your left hip into your mat. And as you root down, begin to lengthen through your left side body as you actively reach to your left arm. Full breath in, exhale, release. Bring your left knee in front of your left hip, right foot over your left leg. Bring your right hand by your right glute, inhale, left arm high. Exhale, half lord of fish. Breathe. You want length to your torso, so bring your right hand as close to your right glute as possible. Just like as if you were wringing out a towel, you want to create length for the twist to wring it all out. So think about that visualization with your spine. Inhale, exhale, release. Keep your toes just as they are, your legs, your feet, and then you'll just walk around to your left Pivot, pivot, pivot through your feet. All the way around, you walk your hands around. Half floor to fish on the other side. Left hand by left glute, you can rearrange and adjust as necessary, it's not easy. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, half floor to fish. Breathe. You can press down through your tailbone, lengthen through the crown of your head. Use the connection of your right arm and your left leg to press into one another. So as you inhale, lengthen, press. Exhale, a little more depth in the twist. Full breath in. Exhale, release. Extend your left leg long, you should be set up for it. Inhale, arms high, quarter turn to the right. Exhale, right piece fingers, right, or left piece fingers, left big toe, and stay. Even if your right glute is on the mat, I want you to again, press it through, aim to create an imaginary indentation in the floor beneath you. And from that space, actively reach through your right shoulders. And by right shoulders, I mean right shoulder. Because I think most of us just have one right shoulder. But feel the length of your right side body. Deep breath in. And exhale, release. Find Baddha Konasana, bombs your feet together. The distance between your hips and your heels is personal preference. So begin to lengthen up through the crown of your head and then fold forward. Press your feet for more active sensation. Press your feet into one another. And then energetically draw your knees down as you pull your chest forward. Maintain length through your spine and softness through your jaw. Slowly come up, come to a seated position. Just as we started, press down through your tailbone, lengthen through the crown of your head. Press your chin back, and then bring your hands to our center as you exhale, one breath together. Take a full breath in, and exhale, let it go. I wanna thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your day for yourself. It does not go unnoticed. Draw your thumbs to third eye center. It truly would have not been the same without you. Namaste.
Thank you guys for making it to class. Again, my name is Stefan Hoffman. I'm with the Flow Impact, and I just want to share a little bit more about that. So what it is is when we all had to transition to virtual classes, it's an instructor support website. A lot of us are teaching these classes for free, and so what you can do is go on there, take an instructor's class for free, but it gives you the option to tip and give back to them, whether it be for personal use or, like myself, all proceeds go to Big Brothers Big Sisters. So check out theflowimpact.com. I believe it should be linked. And check me out on Instagram, Stefan, period, Levi. So at Stefan Levi. Thanks again. Let's talk soon.